There's an important family story that's underrated and often overlooked. And yet, everyone scrambles to find that story when someone dies. Hi, I'm Linda Satgast with imaphotohero.com. And I say, don't wait until someone dies. Get the story written now and you'll be able to put it to really good use long before you or anyone else kicks the bucket. When you attend a funeral, there is usually a program that includes a short biography of the person's life. It tells you when the person was born, where she lived, and maybe something about her career, contributions, perhaps a hobby, and it usually gives a list of deceased and living family members. The underrated and overlooked family story I'm talking about is similar to that and will be very helpful when that day comes, but right now it's for a totally different purpose. I call it the family story framework. It's the closet or the framework in which all your photos and stories hang. Just like each garment on a hanger in a clothes closet is one piece of your wardrobe, a photo or set of photos is one piece of your family history. And if you have a family story framework, you know exactly where each photo and family story fits. In a closed closet, if you're disorganized and everything is a mess, it's hard to find that classy looking blouse you only use once a year for formal occasions. But if your closet is organized, all your dresses are together and your shirts or blouses are together, and then you have your slacks and maybe a section for jackets and so on. It's the same with your photos. In a family story framework, the sections are the dates, the locations, and the events. The dates are like the clothes bar going across the top of the closet. It's the timeline of a person's life. The location where you live during a particular time period is like the sections of clothes in your closet. And the events are like what's on the individual hangers. Once you've written down your family story framework, you and your descendants have context for the photos and the stories. It's easier to answer questions. When was this photo taken? Where were we? Was this a special event or occasion? Today, with digital photography, it's much easier to keep track of dates and locations and even events are easier to track. But if you have a box full of old family photos from the 20th century, filling out a family story framework document will be so helpful to you and your descendants as you piece together your family history. And if you're planning to turn a family story into a book or video, it helps you organize and manage the photos and ultimately tell a better story. To help you build that framework for your stories, I've created a family story framework cheat sheet with prompts for the important things you might want to include, such as birth names and dates and locations for each family member, the schools you attended, the homes you lived in, including the addresses if possible. The link to download the cheat sheet is below this video. If each one of us would get this information written down now, before we kick the bucket, we'll have more clarity when we're creating stories about our family history. It'll also help our descendants, and it'll definitely help with that obituary someday down the road. I'm curious to know what you think about this idea and to find out if any of you have already done something like this and if you included some information that maybe I didn't. So let me know in the comments. Again, the link to download the Family Story Framework Cheat Sheet is right below this video. Also, be sure to click the subscribe button over on the right and click the bell next to the button to be notified when the next video comes out. This is Linda Sadcast with imaphotohero.com, where we teach you how to turn shoeboxes of photos into shareable family stories.